Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here with another edition of Smith Busters. And today we're going to look at that old myth, WD-40 is the greatest thing ever to put in your firearm. WD-40 is the worst thing ever to put in your firearm. This well, is not just a Smith Buster episode, but this is also a public service announcement. Well, don't beat around the bush. Just come out and tell us what you think. Okay, stop putting WD-40 in your firearms. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> It's okay, great. so it's it's great stuff. It's not a lubricant. Just because it breaks down rust and you know loosens stuck parts doesn't mean it's going to be good inside of your lubricating your firearm. It's not it's not really a lubricant. It's a water, WD water displacing and formula forty. But the gun does feel smoother right after you spray it on. Yeah, it'll feel just as smooth as if you pour water in it. <laughs> okay. So I mean, <laughs> don't pour water in it. Don't pour water. So let me back up. Speaking of water. You know, if you have a flood gun or something, or you drop your gun in the water, WD-40 is great. Spray it in there, it'll displace that water, but then you need to follow that up with a proper lubricant. Such as RAN CLP, Such or as RAN CLP. Break Free, RAM Oil, whatever, whatever yes. you got. Yes. Okay, so there is something in WD-40 that gunsmiths find troublesome. There and is. There is a what is it, a shellac or a, uh, there's something that gums up over time. Yeah, and if you leave it in there, it gets nice and gummy, um, and it'll, I've seen it ruin wood stocks as well. Right. Because it, it's, it, it's a penetrating oil, so it gets in under the finish. Yeah, sometimes uh, if you're in the gun business, this is unloaded, it will, uh, a guy will bring in a gun, and he'll say, look what it does. He'll cock it, pull the trigger, and the hammer goes forward about this speed. And that's because it's all gummed up with WD-40 in there or some kind of old lubricant that isn't a lubricant. They thought it was a lubricant. Yeah. But it's waxed up, gummed up, schlacked up, whatever. And that's if it's WD-40, the best thing you can do for it is spray it with WD-40 because yep. it dissolves it again. That new WD-40 will break it up. Right. And then you go in there with a solvent, get it all out of there, and put a gun oil in there, and it'll sit that way for 50 years and not gum up. Yeah, so stop using WD-40 in your firearms, unless of course it's a flood gun or something like that. But um, yeah, so WD-40 is not good for your firearm, myth busted. How about on the outside of the gun? I mean, w there's no point whenever you're you just using, you know, a good gun. So I've seen guys wipe them down with WD-40 on the outside. Too. Yeah, but if you don't get it all wiped off, you're gonna run into the same issue. It's gonna gum up over time. So any excess you have on there, it's, it's not a long-term solution. So if you have a gun and you have WD-40, yep, you keep them far go. apart. Yeah, you might even uh, take this off the set. I mean, it, <laughs> okay. shouldn't, I, you know, it shouldn't Myth, even be here. Myth busted. Myth busted. Don't use the WD-40. It's a great product and it works in a lot of things. Just we don't recommend it for firearms. If you disagree, and we'd love to hear you disagree, leave us a comment below and state your case. We'll take all comers on this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smith Busters.